What up, everybody? Instruct the Beats back again here with our dividing fractions. Keep, change, flip. Let's take a look at our objective today. Today, I will be able to divide fractions by using the keep, change, flip method. You may have heard the song. Now, let's take a look at how to do the math. Previously on Instructabeats, we have taught you how to do whole numbers divided by unit fractions using area models. We've taught you how to do unit fractions divided by whole numbers using area models. Today is the shortcut. But what our robot friend Larry has helped us realize is both of these methods, although awesome because it conceptually shows you what's happening, aren't very efficient. A faster, more efficient robot was needed. So we created the keep change flip robot in a secret laboratory far from human eyes and today it gets unleashed onto the world you want to divide fractions and you're confused what? no worry instructor beats has a strategy to use keep change flip is it's what, what we, we do. do use it every time it will work for you we didn't even know it was a wrapping robot but thank you for that all right so keep change flip what are we talking about? We're not talking about KFC, right? Not the chicken place. We're talking about KCF. So our first fraction, you're going to keep the uh, sign we are going to change. And then the second fraction, we are going to flip. And some of you might be like, hold on, Mr. Instructor Beats, dude. That's not a fraction. It's a whole number. Well, really, we know fractions are division equations. So we can just turn this into 4 divided by 1, right? Or 4 over 1. And now it's a fraction. So really the first thing you need to do is make sure everything is a fraction. Whether it's a proper fraction or improper fraction, you're going to want to turn mixed numbers into improper fractions. Just get everything as a fraction, all right? And now check it out. We keep it. Keep the first fraction exactly the same. See the division sign and change its name. We're going to flip the last fraction on top of itself into its reciprocal. All right, reciprocal basically just means when we're going to flip the fraction, the numerator and denominator switch, and now we can just multiply across, right? We're just multiplying a fraction. So 2 times 1 is 2. Uh, 3 times 4 is 12. So we have two twelfths, or you can divide by a big 1 and simplify that to 1 sixth. So 2 thirds divided by 4 is 1 sixth. Or if we go back to what we were talking about in our area model lessons, if we took 2 thirds and divided it into four groups, there would be one sixth in each group. Let's take a look at another example. All right, so now we have two fractions here, right? Um, so we don't need to turn anything to a fraction there. They are already fractions. So we're going to keep, change, flip, keep the first fraction exactly the same, see the, the division sign and change its name, flip the last fraction on top of itself or flip it in uh, to its reciprocal. And now it's just a fraction multiplication question, right? So we're going to multiply across, and we have 4 times 3 is 12, 5 times 2 is 10. This is an improper fraction, and so we can think about this as 12 divided by 10, and that is going to give us one whole with 2 tenths left over, or we can even simplify that into 1 in 1 fifth, okay? So when we did 4 fifths divided by 2 thirds, we got 1 in 1 fifth. Let's take a look at this you try problem, all right? So uh, go ahead and pause the video, try it yourself. When you're ready, push play, and you can check your work. So we have five divided by five eighths. Hopefully you just paused it and you're checking your work. So the first thing I wanna do is turn everything into a fraction, whether it's improper or not. And so now I'm gonna do my keep, change, flip. Um, and uh, many times the thing that people mess up, mess up on is they do flip, keep, change, okay? They wanna flip the first, uh, the dividend, okay? And, um, that's why I write down the steps KCF over top and that way you know, okay, I'm keeping this one, I'm changing it, I'm flipping that one. That will just help you stay organized and make sure you don't make uh, those little tiny mistakes. All right, so five over one, we're gonna keep it. See the division sign and change its name. We're gonna flip five eighths to its reciprocal of eight fifths. And now we're going to multiply across and we get 40 fifths. Okay, um, and when we do 40 divided by 5, right, because every, uh, really this um, fraction is a division equation, so really it's saying 40 divided by 5, um, and that obviously would equal 8. So 40 fifths, when it's an improper fraction, turn it into a whole number, your answer will be 8. So if I had 5 wholes and I'm dividing them into groups of 5 eighths, 
I could make eight groups. All right. So here's a, a little shortcut. If you want to know another shortcut, check out our common denominators method. Uh, but really, if you need to understand conceptually what's happening, check out our conceptual videos on how to do this with array models. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We hope you'll use this strategy. Check out our Keep Change Flip song. It's one of my favorite songs. Not that I'm biased at all. We would love to have you join our Instructor Beats family by hitting that subscribe button. Like the video. Let us know where you're watching from. Again, thank you so much. Instructor Beats out.